There we go. We playing. Hello to the YouTubes and things. Let's give this game a try. The last two SpongeBob games we played were actually pretty decent, so I'm hoping this one will be good too. But I have no idea though. There's a free play? So wait, is this like a collection of mini games or something? Hold on, I do have the case here. Burn Rubber and Diesel Dreaming, Rampage, Play 8, Bizarre and Unusual Worlds? Journey Through the Belly of Massive Boom? It looks like just a normal game, but maybe it is like a collection of mini games? Subtitles on. This is all probably fine. Did it keep that setting? It did. Bonus games, extras, game status? Uh, let's just go into story mode. I have no idea. Oh, nope, not continue. I haven't played before. No game. Born to be wild in their dreams, diesel dreaming. Thrill spills, motion sickness. Hmm. I don't usually consider motion sickness to be like a positive thing. So Patrick ah, looks really weird. Visible sea big bikini bottom. The creatures of the sea are deep in slumber. Their night brains exploring the mysterious world of dream. It's weird, like, seeing the car with its comic book art styling and then seeing, you know, Spongebob look like Spongebob. Okay. So we're starting off in a racing mode? Oh. Okay. There's only one word you can use to describe this, Dale. Yes. Really cool. That's too Is this? Detail, but thanks for playing. Use the left analog stick to steer the hot rod. Press and hold X to go faster, or use square to slow down and reverse. Do the checkpoints before the time runs out. Now get going. Is this like a, a reference to the. Bruh, I'm holding X. Oh, it didn't take that as holding X. Anyways, yeah, is this like a reference to the show, or is this just. Oh, I wonder what the, these coins are. Should we be collecting these? I'm assuming it's probably a good idea. Oh god. Oh, this handles like ass. <laughs> Did that dude just like take a shortcut? Do that thing? What is this stuff that we're collecting? Okay, yeah. I think it's because we're not, like, actually racing other people. So they're just, like, coming in and out as they please. Can we break through these? Does that give us, like, damage or something? Does it slow us down? It doesn't seem to do anything. Oh. What's that big truck? So, what are we actually doing here? Are we just like seeing how many laps we can do? Or are there a certain number that we're supposed to be trying to get? Did the other buttons do anything? No. Oh. Things be falling. Now at this point, I'm just hitting things for the hell of it. Like, oh shit! I was falling. I was following the cars. My bad. Actually, come to think of it, I don't remember actually. 
Oh no! Our license! Did we lose it? This is this is weird. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was gonna be like a normal SpongeBob game, like the other ones that we did. Oh, the commercial transport boats are faster than you. Well, I mean, it's SpongeBob like we're talking about. Are we already? surprised? SpongeBob gets the runaround and Hello? license to jive. For the feedback, Dale. Bonus games. Okay, so wait, is the whole game a driving game? Leapy time places. Oh wait, are we actually running around now? Why? Why? Oh, cruel! See how you taught this little yellow sponge. My license. No, oh, it's too far away for me to reach. Hurry, you underwater curries. You win again. To get your driving license back, you have to unlock the speed demon inside of you, SpongeBob. Stay shiny, little fella. I'm coming to get ya. Now that you're on foot, come over here and I can tell you a few more things. I want to know if this came out before or after the other SpongeBob games. What is that? Is that supposed to be our attack? <laughs> okay. What's this? Whoa, I bet these are valuable. I'm gonna collect as many as I can. Probably not, honestly. I mean, it looks fine as far as the PS2 SpongeBob game goes. You'll need to jump over that gap to get to me. Wait. Oh. That's kind of gross. If we hold X, we just keep jumping. Why? <laughs> I mean... That's so weird. It's like a pogo stick or something, man. I do not like that. That's odd. We like... We can. I do like that. You can like walk off a platform and then jump. I'm guessing that counts as our double jump though. To use a winch, press square to grab it. Then rotate the left analog stick Turn round and round and make it winch. Can, boy. Work those crazy arms. <laughs> I know how to do it. I'm just trying to check something here. Yeah, okay. So that counts as our double jump. Oh, there's no like grabbing ledges. to know i guess maybe that's a, something that we learn to do later what are you a golden z buck I'm guessing that's just a z buck but worth more don't want to know what this is <laughs> dude we definitely grab that my arms touch that thing <laughs> no, okay. So we can't can't interact with people at all. Does does this collect Don't things though? Hold on. It does. Okay. Good to know, I guess. There could be something in the future. You know that we can't quite reach or whatever. And open the shop front. Game has cheats. Good. <laughs> I think we're gonna need them. Anything interesting? What is that? Is that a, an amoeba? <laughs> it looks like some sort of ocean sea amoeba thing. I heard you were out of the race. Hey, what's up here? Absolutely nothing. Well, that's lame. 
What's the point of coming up here then? All right, winch it. Oh, I see, okay. We had to put out the thing. I thought it was gonna open the door so we could get that fish or whatever that is. I, I honestly don't know what this thing's supposed to be in here. Mostly cosmetic. Anything, I'm assuming like probably big head mode and crap, or is there anything like more interesting than that? I mean, big head mode can be fun sometimes, but. There's some game mechanics, like. I mean, I can just pull it up if it's too hard to type out or whatever. For your next lesson, you need to jump higher and farther. Try it now. I really don't like that we jump as soon as we touch the ground, like if we hold the, the jump button. Great work, SpongeBob! And they're really making use of these, you uh, really got the hang of these this. winches, aren't they? That's Infinite good. time for driving stages. I mean, I don't think that's something we're going to need based off the first one, but brain, see SpongeBob's thoughts. That's pretty cool. How do you put them in? I'm assuming that's like a main menu thing. We'll try that after we finish this level because I don't think it's saved again since we did the driving section. I mean, granted, not like this section's actually all that long or anything, but still. Can we ground pound? I was trying to figure out how to do that earlier, but... Pound a button, you need to jump up with X, then try and go in mid-air with it. To work if you want to push that... Uh, maybe under options. Nothing in here. Oh, wait. Why is... Vibration turned off. I've never understood that. Why some games do that. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any option for like cheats in here, but maybe it's in the main menu because there is like an extra menu and stuff like that, so. Oh, seriously? There's more coins? Do we use these coins for anything? Can we, I don't know, buy a new car? <laughs> Get some turbo on our car or something. Creature from the Krusty Krab, yep. That's what it says on the box, at least. <laughs> oh, creature from the Krusty Graham. You're looking at the PS2 copy? Maybe it was different on, like, GameCube or something? is this? Is this like oil or something that's squirting out all over the place? Yeah, PS2. <laughs> so my only guess is that it's in the main menu. You made Some sort it, of laser. SpongeBob. Well done. Here you go. I think you'll find this little dash attack power up will come in very handy for getting your license back. Use the dash attack to push that spark block into its slot, and you'll find what it is you seek. The two you... Uh, you can obviously tell that the lines were, like, recorded at different times. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Like, it sounds so different when she's just normally ta uh, talking, and then when she's, like, talking to our head, I guess. I don't know. My goodness. You're becoming one of my best pupils. I doubt that. Oh, my lovely, lovely license. At last I found you. Never leave me again, okay? Hey, SpongeBob. Let's see if you've got what it takes to beat the great Piston Patrick. 
do not like the design of him. It's so weird. <laughs> Your dialogue in alphabetical order? Wait, what? So confused. Rainbow Burr. <laughs> I have no idea. I think you're talking about Sword the whatever her name is. Challenge, Dale. Should be interesting. What is what is this teacher's like name? The pufferfish. I cannot, for the life of me, think of what it is. Miss. Why am I just thinking Mr. Krabs? I don't know. I give up. Whatever. I'm not going to remember it. Brain's not working tonight. Back. Okay. The story mode. Load game. Game status. Nothing there. Extras. Puff, thank you. Yeah, there's a cheat code section. Oh, there's a shop. What's the shop got? A lot of Elder Scrolls dialogue is joining because the voice actors are given lines in alphabetical order instead of by conversation. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's incredibly dumb. Okay. Loading images, please wait. All right, then shop, whatever. How do we like... What are we buying? Jellyfish? Quick, music from Super Size Patty. Run to the jukebox and listen. Okay, so you just get like random extras. That's fine, I guess. That makes sense. That's gross, though. Alphabetical order. That's so weird, man. I know like a lot of games and... I guess games more than anything were translated or dubbed, whatever you want to call it, both <laughs> in really weird ways once upon a time. Like, that's why a lot of mistranslations happened in old Final Fantasy games and stuff like that. Because normally the translators would just be given, like, a big spreadsheet of all of the stuff in one language, and then they would just type in whatever it was in the other language. <laughs> but they weren't given any context for any of it. Obviously, sometimes you need context clues <laughs> to tell exactly how to translate something, but they they didn't get that. So, things sometimes uh, wouldn't make sense. There was a series, I wish I could remember the name of the guy, but there was a series on a uh, frankly disturbing new costume for Spongebob to wear in the Hypnotic Highway. Wait, that only works in Hypnotic Highway, though? Yeah, I saw that. Um, they figured out how to dupe a couple different things. I didn't watch the video yet, but uh, what it, what is it? Four four seven four productions, four seven productions. I forget his name. You know it, but <laughs> he uh he put out a video on it or something. I just haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Creature from the Krusty Krab game FAQ. Reach from the Krusty Krab. Cheats. Uh, PS2. 30,000 Z coins. Yeah, these are all like costume changes for specific levels. Infinite health on all platform levels, infinite time on all driving levels. New effect for SpongeBob's car in the Diesel Dreaming level. I think that's the one we're in, right? Fuck. It's the same as the Shiva dude if you watch that. I don't. Wait, did that work? Oh, Flames with an S. I don't think I watched it, is what I was gonna say. I don't remember it at least. Lincoln is a robot and Revenge of the Giant Plankton. Super Size Patty. Place Punk SpongeBob in the Diesel Dreaming level. Okay, sure. Let's put that one in too. I don't know if like these stack or not, <laughs> but. 
Safari Patrick, use a new vehicle. Okay, let's do that one and then we'll be done. Let's see if any of that took. That might only be in like the free play mode or whatever though too. It doesn't specify, but there is the whole like free play mode and whatnot for the different uh, levels. So our youngest competitor is ready for his first real challenge, Dale. Should be interesting, Rick. Interesting. Like grappling with an angry octopus, Dale. Do we look the same? I think we look the same. A true battle of the undersea type. A true battle the car might look different though. Honka honka out of the way. Don't forget it's the left analog stick to see. Yeah, I remember how to play. Just a dialogue box override. Do an action while dialogue box is up and the action will take priority and mess with the game state. Yeah, I mean, game state stuff in general. Oh, oh, what? He's got bombs? That's rude. Anyways, <laughs> that seems to be, like, the thing for Final Fantasy VII, right? Okay, at least they added, like, boost pads to the floor now. That gives us something else to do. Um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's obviously some problems with the, the game state. S states with an S in that game. How am I supposed to collect those coins when he's literally shitting bombs on them? Is he so much faster? Than me? That's not fair. Does the boost pad actually do anything for us? Because I feel like Patrick always stays ahead of us. I mean, I guess it helps make sure that we don't run out of time. when we're going, like, trying to get to the checkpoint since we are on a timer. Oh, shit. Okay, that confused me. He went left and, like, yeah. It's gonna be sad when Glitch isn't in Rebirth. I'm so excited for Rebirth, though, man. We only got another month to go. We're getting there. A month and five days. I got a couple days off work for it. I completely missed those boost pads, but I don't think we need them. I don't know if I'm gonna like beat it right away on those couple extra days that I have off or not, but but I'm definitely gonna be playing it. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, that didn't even really like hurt us. Do we, do we have to do three laps this time? Remembering 16? <laughs> I think it's going to be better than 16, honestly. I really like 16 from a, a game mechanic standpoint. It's just the, the story mode was, <laughs> you know, not amazing the story mode the, the the side quest stuff that's what i'm trying to say except my brain's not working right now man it's it's tired i'm not necessarily saying i'm gonna stream it or anything anyways though i would kind of like to i am more interested in just playing the game And if I'm streaming it, I won't be able to play it as much as I can if I just play it, like, on my own, so. Probably not going to, unless a lot of people ask for it or whatever. After a little bit of time passes, I'll put it on the list of games to complete on stream. I mean, I'm pretty sure I have the first one on there, so. Might as well put the second one on there to join it, but. That'll be, like, down the road.
if we do or if I do decide to play it to Smash completion like right away, card, I'll probably just do it on like Mondays rules, right? or something, you know, like add an extra stream instead of taking away from the other stuff this time. A 16, even with doing it four ish days a week, just took too long. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Oh, is that our new costume? Let's see if I can't find some parts lying around to fix up my car. These guys aren't just gonna let me come and rummage around, so I better brush up on my skills. Okay. Missing car parts, but I think we can do that. Uh, wasn't me. Kinda was. Oh, this is punk SpongeBob, isn't it? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Wait, what? Pressing square makes SpongeBob break out the sand slap move, which, as you can imagine, stings a bit. Okay, then. You'll have to this is a safe place. You can save here. That makes sense. <laughs> Get wrecked, losers. <laughs> Late 2000 SpongeBob representation. Hell yeah. It's just weird because the other two games were like surprisingly good. And then there's this one, you know, which I don't want to call it bad, but it's kind of bad. <laughs> like the moves are fine, you know, I this this for attacking the the charge attack thing we have here, like all that's fine. But the constant little mini cutscenes pulling us out of everything annoys me. That annoys me in like all kinds of games, though. And then the weird, like, driving sections in between, I don't think that was necessary. If they wanted to make a cart game, they should have just made a cart game. But like that, you know? They didn't need to pull me out of the game to show me that closing. And that bottle there or whatever. Like, I could have figured it out on my own, I'm sure. Time to be a real petrol head, SpongeBob. Collect the fuel canisters. Okay, game. Why not just put one, like, right here as soon as we walk in? And then have it pop up, like, in the corner. Like, hey, collect these things or something. Instead of pulling me out of the experience. I hate when games do that. A bottle's already gone. You have issues. Combat is stupid easy, too. <laughs> now I don't. <laughs> you can't even type, girl. What are you talking about? You obviously have some problems, man. never been able to type because you're always drunk <laughs> great work spongebob turn it as fast as you can boy work so, those crazy arms <laughs> is that like a secret are we supposed to go back for that but we can't go back right we like slap these or these buttons no okay i guess we can just ignore that maybe Maybe we'll be going back outside here shortly. We can collect that then. Um, oh, I have control of the camera. What game were we playing recently that I didn't have control of the camera? I mean, God of War, yeah, but I feel like there was another one. For some reason, I was thinking I couldn't move the camera. And I'm assuming it's because of whatever game I was playing, but I don't know. Super monkey ball. Wait. 
we not have control of the camera? Oh, that's right, we didn't. That's one of the things I complained about. I remember now. We did in like the the mode where we could uh like this. Stun him before going in for the knockout. Watch him call it. In the mode where we were just running around, but not in the uh Remember, the you have to dash at him other first. mode. Don't forget. The challenge mode or whatever. Honestly, the good mode. What are these amoebas for? A sleepy seed? You need lots of these to unlock characters in the last That's level, so weird. get searching. I feel lightning-ish. Is that... Is that the weird amoeba thing that we found before? It looks similar, at least. It's just weird to me that they wouldn't have given us the message before about, like, collect a bunch of those so you can get characters in the last level. If it was a sleepy seed that we grabbed before. Oh my god, no, I don't want to save game. I just want to smash things. Wait, can I, like, run through a bunch of them at a time? No, that's lame. It'd be nice if our charge attack went through it as easily as our spin spinny hands do. I'm still a little confused about what this is. I'm guessing that's like another form of attack. We haven't actually tried it since we got real enemies to attack. Bad guys, meet my SpongeBob fists and fury. <laughs> I don't think tickling him worked. Are there any like regular enemies left, or did we kill all them? we killed all of them is that what it is <laughs> is he tickling them i mean that seems on character for spongebob i could see it being that sorry i'm getting comfortable here Ugh. there we go Did I? I don't know, man. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I say. <laughs> I just, words just come out of my mouth. I don't really pay attention to what they are. So it's possible I said that. But I don't know, man. Got it! Say hello to my hot rod, miscellaneous piece of car equipment. I know Spongebob's kind of an idiot, but they couldn't just tell him what this shit was. These are just things. Exactly. Nate gets it. Silence gets it whenever he used to be here. Okay, so it does work against regular enemies. It just doesn't affect the big guys even when we stun them first. Always try to keep in mind that these games were probably made for kids, you know? Not for 31-year-old dudes, but... Oh, why is that door... What? The door wasn't open! Oh, whatever, game. It's fine. These guys can't work without their tools. Collect 20 of them. Hey, look over there. Well, you know with a try. Uh, 
Bro, just send them out. You don't need to show me them coming out of the room every single time. Oh my god. I, uh... During my vacation, I went through everything on the VOD channel, made a bunch of new, like, playlists and stuff. One of them is, like, all the games I would rate the lowest on the PS2. This is going on that list, <laughs> almost for sure. This, <laughs> this is not a good game. One of my best pupils. Rude? How's that rude? <laughs> it just isn't, man. Like, on a technical level, it's fine. The game works okay. Everything controls all right. I mean, the car is not amazing, but it's not the worst pupils. I've ever felt either. But we keep getting the same lines from Miss Puff over and over again. Which is jank as hell. Is not going to move until somebody moves that engine block. Oh. <sighs> Must I do everything myself? The constant little mini cutscenes every time enemies spawn or we go into a new area. Or just literally any do anything. Like, that's annoying as shit. It wouldn't be so bad, but these levels are tiny too. So, like... We spend a minute in a section, beat it, and then we're instantly put in a, a little mini cutscene to show us the next area. And then we kill three enemies, and then there's another cutscene of the next one spawning in. And, like, it's just, it's not great, man. I mean, being tired as hell, I'm sure, doesn't help, but, like, I don't think that's the problem. Lincoln's known to be a tough competitor, Dale. Absolutely, Rick. Better keep our eyes on this race. I never get distracted, Dale. Hey, Pebble. Are we racing Plankton now? A sponge, a starfish, and a Plankton. Who could ask for more than that? Oh, is it both of them? I certainly Three, couldn't, Rick. Two, we don't need the stupid pop-up telling us how to control the car every race. Hydrate sold out. I'm sorry, love. What are hydrates again? That sounds like a drink mix, but I know you don't drink drink mix. Lele attack just redeemed hydrate. Oh, is that what you meant? Like the hydrates on here? They shouldn't have been sold out. That's weird. Yeah, I haven't touched it, so it should be the same rules as what it's been. Like five per person per stream or something like that. Oh, that's weird. Cheers. Oh. <sighs> Some good old clear American man. Shit's wonderful. I love these things. I'm considering getting a glass of wine for myself, since Lele's talking about it, but I haven't yet, obviously. Oh. If we do end up switching to Power World, we're probably gonna end up switching to Power World. So when we end up switching to Power World, um, I think I'll probably go gla get a glass. <laughs> I think Lily wants us to switch to Power Road too. Wait, did you buy wine? Not tonight, I didn't. I picked up some for Lily earlier. But, ooh, the level actually changed? That's the first interesting thing to happen. Um, but no, we've had wine, love. It's in the fridge. We bought it at that little shop, like, that we went to, like, a week ago or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been in the... I think it's in the door of the fridge. Oh. 
No. Yeah. No, I did finish that in the cavern. Did we buy another one? I could have swore there was one in the one in the fridge. Check the fridge. Because <laughs> I think there's some wine in there. I might be crazy. That's a possibility. But I thought there was wine in the fridge. Can we go around this if we didn't want to go up here? It almost looks like we could back there, but I'm assuming no. It seems like it wants us to come up there. Yeah, I mean, that pretty much answers that. It's impossible for us to get in front of whoever we're quote-unquote racing. This lasts way too long, man. <laughs> like, I'm hardly paying attention to it. It's just... It's a thing that exists. Oh, I missed the pad again. Not like we need it. You would have to really screw up to fail. At least in these beginning sections. Maybe it gets harder later. Wait, was that Gary? Sure, we'll save the game. Why not, man? I'm trying to... We're gonna... We're gonna see what the other stuff is. I was gonna say, we're, I'm trying to, like go at least an hour here but we're 40 minutes in and i'm pretty tired of the main game but there is the the free play and the uh extra games or whatever you free play i think just lets you like troubles. replay levels or drinking, pick levels to play or whatever four, Rick. Those were the days. <laughs> so i don't think that's gonna be like any better but maybe the extra game section is i think i bought that the day we came home maybe did we go somewhere the day we came home? All you need to do to beat Gary is to soup up your engine with a few new parts. I'm sure there are some. Oh, that's right, because I had to stop at uh, the gas station, didn't I? So yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think maybe that is the case. You just get like an air attack or something. Oh uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this. This is. <laughs> Quit. Yes, I'm sure. I can plug my watch in too? Okay. Yeah, I did forget to do that. No, I do not wish to continue game. Yeah, so there's free play, which... Oh. Okay, so it lets us play any level? Interesting. Sonic Highway. Rooftop Rumble. It came from Bikini Bottom. So it's like all plays on old horror stuff, which makes sense, but... What are the bonus games? Wakey Wakey Shaky Shaky. Meteor Mania. Scrap Scramble. Pouncin' Poundin' Patty. Wakey Wakey Shaky Shaky. Obviously. Easy hard bonus? Well, bonus isn't unlocked, whatever that is. But none of this is unlocked. Wait, what? Do we have to unlock these modes? Bruh, why even let us see it if you're not gonna let us play it? That's dumb. I'm guessing there's probably, like, one bonus game for every world that we play through, unless it's one of the things you unlock in the shop. I guess, excuse me, could be the case. We have enough to buy a couple more things. Let's see if we get anything interesting. Paper Thin Concept won the bad guys. No. Scrap Scramble bonus game. Okay, yeah. So that's what we get. We just get... Oh, I didn't see what it was. Hopefully it wasn't another bonus game. Hey, wakey, wakey, shaky, shaky. Uh, 
Uh, sure, save, because I don't know if it'll unlock the game otherwise. Then destroy your base and rebuild it? I'm basically going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to keep my base, like, where it's at. Until I unlock the second one, which I'm pretty close to doing. Um, I'm not, like, super happy with where I have it, but I didn't want it to be, like, right in the middle of everything. You know, so I went off the path a little bit. Activate bonus items? Oh! I see. Uh, anyways. And, yeah, like... The section I found isn't amazing. Because, like, half of it's off a cliff or on a cliff, so it's not my favorite, but it, it'll get the job done. Cut off most of your available area with water. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> that sucks. So I don't know what the difference is between easy hard and bonus, but Krabby Patty's hiding in the giant skyscraper. Help Plankton chase it out in his own unique way. Press the correct button when it lights up on the building. Get all the buttons on the building in the time limit. Okay. Wonder what happens if we press the wrong button. I'm sure we'll find out soon. You won't get away from me this time. Come out, come out wherever you are. Is there like a goal or are we just seeing how far we can make it? Like can you win this or Since it's the bonus mode, I have no idea. Oh. Okay, yeah. So if we if we screw up, we fuck, get frozen for a second, and we have to uh, restart. Yeah, I'm feeling like this version of it is just see how far you can make it. Maybe if we had like the easy or hard mode or something, there would be an actual ending. Oh wait, there's the ending. Never mind. I lied. There is an ending. Didn't find the Krabby Patty in time. That means no bonuses for you. Oh, you get money for playing them. I mean, I guess it's nice to have a reason to do it, but it's not that interesting either. What was the other one we unlocked? Was it Meteor Mania? I don't think so. No. Rap Scramble? That sounds familiar. There we go. Is this a crane game? Looks almost like a crane game. Help spawn draw, collect all the junk. Make sure all the junk pieces end up in the matching bucket. Move the crone by rotating both the left and both the left analog stick and the right analog stick. Hold down R1 to grab the junk. Let's go to drop it. Okay, Let's go to drop it. You can rummage around in the junk pile for plain parts. Just make sure you put the right colored junk in the right colored bucket. Missed what? That one. what? Oh, okay. Oh god, I don't like how you rotate it. Do I have to pick up the coins? Oh god. This is the easy mode? You disabled your base and got murdered? GG. I really don't like the way this controls. Why do I have to rotate? Why can't I just press a direction? What is this? Does this go in yellow? Oh God, get it. 
Get it. Junk in Pizza cake. Which one do you go in? I also don't like how we can lose our money if we don't pick it up. That sucks. It's like tidying up. Only fun. Keep up the good work, boy. Now we're done. Go. Oh. <laughs> 22 snoozy points. The biplane part is Spongebob. I don't know what that means. Anyways. Yeah, I think that's gotta be it. It's just not that interesting. If free play will let us skip right to the end of the game, we'll try that. But I almost wonder if it won't let us do that until we like beat it in story mode first. That's how most games work at least, right? Yeah, no, it won't let us click on any of these things I'm clicking the button Alaskan belly trouble oh no that must be the the Alaskan bullfish right that's its name something like that anyways all right guys yeah I'm done with uh Spongebob Squarepants creature from the Krusty Krab so I'm gonna go grab a drink and plug my watch in I guess because I forgot that bullworm Alaskan bullworm what I call it that's close enough whatever and then uh i think we're gonna play a little bit of power world because i don't know that's just what i've been playing in my own time so might as well play a little bit of it on stream since i didn't do it yesterday so <laughs> brb friends oh uh, as soon as i figure out how things work rude go down to the absolute basic guy and olar just noises that have the same implications